As luck would have it, they had my Lidl's on sale the other day for £16.99 reduced from £20. So I got one, it gave me an opportunity to compare it to the older version. All right, as always, make sure the cable ties still fit at the top to ensure that no one's been inside, stolen the contents, and taken it back for a refund. So if you watch some of my other Parkside reviews, you'll know I hate blow molded power tool cases. And it's not just Parkside, any tool that comes to the blow molded case I don't like because I think it's a waste of plastic. My biggest annoyance with them is the type of hinge they use. It's usually a very thin piece of plastic, which snaps eventually, which means the case is no good. This one's actually got a proper metal bar through the middle of the hinge. So this case might even be a keeper. Um, instruction manual is the usual kind of thick Parkside publication, but that's because it's in multiple languages. This one goes up to page 14 in English, and, and it usually contains enough information to advise the user on not, how not to harm themselves rather than to actually use the tool for various jobs. Uh, speaking of which, comes with some sanding pads, and complete with the attachment to put on the sanding pads. Some cutting attachments for various materials. Dust extraction, so you can connect it to a vacuum cleaner, which is very useful. Um, and then the tool itself, which is what I'm really interested in. So like a lot of tools in the 12 or X team range, they don't come with a battery and charger, so you've got to purchase your own. And they're available at the checkout in store. So the first thing I noticed about this tool was its manufacturing date. December 2021, bearing in mind it's now October 2024, this has been in storage in the warehouse for quite some time. With regards to build quality, there are some notable differences. The older version's got an aluminium casting on the top section here, which I think is more robust. The new version is entirely made out of plastic. Now, if you watch my video on repairing the 240 volt version, this is important because you've got to take this part off to get to that bearing. No idea how you do that on the newer version because it's a complete plastic case. Uh, it does have the LED light here, which I think is better than on the older version, which is there. Uh, but other than that, they are the same, the speed controls are both on the side there, and the power switches are both in the same place, and the levers are you know, the same size and also in the same place. With regards to handling, the older version is a little bit front heavy because of that aluminium casting, whereas the new version, being all plastic, feels a bit more balanced, but as far as grip is concerned, they seem to be about the same. So, has the quality changed much on this particular tool over the years? I can't say it has, to be honest. It still feels, you know, decent and good value for money. Um, it's a shame they've stopped using this uh, aluminium casting here. It's probably a, a cost-saving exercise. But, you know, in general, I'm actually quite pleased with the new version. I'll be uh, looking forward to using it. Although, I'll still be using this one because it still works fine. So with that, thanks for watching and subscribing. It's much appreciated. And uh, I'll see you all again soon.